Hello everyone. So in this video, we will uh, see one uh, a peculiar request that that comes to Tradetron from our clients with regards to using a stocks list, where they say that out of suppose they are using a list of ten stocks, then they want to trade only in the first two stocks that meet the entry criteria and not take the trade in rest of the eight. All right, and those trades should happen only once and uh, not any other time during the day. So let's just see with the help of positions detail count keyword how we can do that. So this is the strategy example that I will be showing you how it takes the trade based on the condition that we built. All right, so let's just see the criteria that we have. So the criteria, so the strategy condition that we have is basically it's a list of stocks. Uh, set number one is for buy side entry on a list of stocks. Set number two is for sell side entry on a list of stocks. Uh, buy entry value for each stock is rupees five thousand, and the sell entry value for each stock is rupees five thousand. So the trade restriction requirement that we have in this case is enter only first two stocks from the list that meets the entry condition, either on the buy side or the sell side, and that's it. Only one trade in each of the first two stocks that enter. No more trades uh, apart from that. All right. And the solution for that is using this keyword positions detail entry all all count and we do not select the list name or we do not select the underline where we have the option to and we will use the uh, indicator um, basically the sign less than number two because we want to enter only the into the first two stocks that is the reason why so if you want to enter into uh, five stocks out of the list then it will be number five if you want to enter into ten stocks out of the list of maybe 30 40 stocks then you can put it as 10 all right so that is how it's going to be so uh, let's just see this is the strategy that we have created so let's just uh, let me just show you the entry uh, strategy conditions for this it's a fairly simple strategy uh, just for the demo purpose that we created so over here if you see the entry condition is basically uh, it should be the trade should be between 925 and 1458 we are also checking that there is no open position with the important keyword that is net quantity so net quantity traded instrument name 111 and 211 that is both the sets should be empty and there should be no other position that should be open and we are checking that it should be a, a simple crossover condition where the close of super trend on a minus one candle uh, on a 5-2 parameter is greater than uh, the previous candle and uh, the previous to previous candle uh, is basically uh, less than the super trend so that's basically an upside crossover and as you can see this is the most important part that this is the condition that we are putting that is positions detail entry all or count is less than number two so under positions detail if i click you will see that there is this option of entry all all so instead of buy or sell we are selecting all because we are not restricting the buy trade or the sell trade we are saying out of the list whichever trade that comes either on the buy side or the sell side we want to take entry and only two times during the day on either of the side and that is it all right so if you want to take entry two times on the buy side and entry two times on the sell side uh, or entry uh, uh, into two stocks on the buy side and entry two stocks on the sell side then you can specifically uh, mention it uh, and make a separate positions counter a position detail uh, keyword with entry b uh, entry b all all count is equal to zero and entry s all all count is equal to zero all right so over here it's call, it's not call and put it's basically stocks that the, that is the reason why we will select all uh, over here instead of uh, value or quantity we will be selecting count and more importantly in this case we are not selecting any underline all right so the underline is going to be empty and we will just say it should be uh, less than number two all right so this is the entry condition on this side as well as uh, on the sell side if you want uh, it should be the same condition because we are selected position detail as it is works on the strategy level and not on the set level as you already know so over here also we are putting the same formula that at any point in time either on the buy side or on the sell side the entry condition matches uh, whichever it is whichever the stock matches the condition it will take trade into that limited to the first two stocks in the list and uh, it will trade only that so this is the list right trending stocks july that i've created so where if you see in the list there are total four stocks all right tca starter motors infi and reliance and i want to take trade only in the first two stocks out of this list whichever meets the entry condition first during the day all right i hope this is clear and uh, if you see the first uh, set exit also it's very simple is basically the downside crossover that is the opposite of the uh, first side entry over here and uh, its second set is basically the 
the the opposite of the first uh, first set uh, right so it's basically a downside crossover the very previous candle is uh, closing down on the super trend uh, on the previous candle and uh, previous to previous candle minus two candle is basically higher than the previous candle all right so basically it's a downside crossover condition and uh, that's for the sell side entry so it's basically the opposite on the uh, buy side so now let's just see what kind of trades it has taken in this strategy all right so if you see let's just go to uh, first counter so if you see the first counter uh, that was on uh, if i see this reliance stock it was on 15th of july so uh, on friday back on uh, uh, friday so if you see this basically at 1:37 pm it took an entry in reliance and it exited the uh, reliance stock at uh, 1:43 pm uh, there was a, for a quantity of 10 stocks all right then after that uh, uh, it also took second entry in a TCS right so if you see first entry was reliance at 137 and after that second entry was at TCS all right so after that it stopped checking conditions and out of the four stocks that we have in the list it did not take any further trades all right so if you see this there are total four stocks right so but in the first count it took only reliance and TCS and then after that it stopped checking for the conditions then we will move on to counter number two so if you see in this case first counter was reliance and tcs right and se then second counter that is yesterday uh sorry 18 july that is yesterday so it entered into tcs and uh, uh reliance so it it restricted the trade only in these two stocks so first trade was in reliance where it entered at 9 39 am all right into 10 stocks on the short side if you see and uh it uh, basically exited at 9 49 am and at the same time uh, it entered into reliance on the short side also at 9 40 am and it uh, exited at 9, 10 19 am all right so it restricted only for these two stocks and later on in the third counter if you see that is again uh, today uh, 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 it also traded tcs itself so today it traded on the long side if you see so it took a trade at 9 32 on the uh, buy side in tcs and it exited at 10 7 so this was the first trade and the second uh, was reliance it traded at 9 36 am on the short side so as you can see it traded on the short side but it restricted the trade to just one whichever are the first two stocks it will trade only that and it exited at 9 46 am so that is how this strategy will work so and out of the four stocks it always traded only first two stocks either from the long side or the short side and it accordingly it took the position so you can use this particular keyword uh, to restrict the entries in the list of stocks that you may have i hope this video was useful and uh, yeah you can make use of this uh, keyword thank you